markets. Everyone and everyone some mother's son who must often wonder why so many die so young. They move through their modern jungle as did their African huntsmen ancestors long ago. Except that today in Babylon they are the prey. They wear uniforms, oversized, overpriced jackets, advertising, universities they'll never see, or the kinds of athletes they'll never be. Oversized pants hanging halfway down they ass, baseball caps worn aft, shoes unlaced as they pace their dangerous streets in easy grace. Arms spread wide, forever ready for attack or defense. They are obsolete warriors, obsolete cannon fodder. But the rulers know what to do with them until the next imperialist conflict begins. Warehouse them in the slam! Man for man. Few of them will survive the ruler's deadly plan, and this ain't no jive. Most of them will wind up in the slam or graveyard before they are 25. Before they are 25. Here you go, boss. Women, tell them it's a picnic, a party, a barbecue, a festival, everything stops. You can't even get through the streets. Women everywhere, looking good, stepping light. Today, not one woman in sight. Sorry. Here comes one. My next door neighbor, Helen. What's the matter? Why are you looking all serious? Because I'm mad as hell. You know what the husbands say about us? Deceitful, sly, late. Uh, they're right too. <sighs> now see. We promised to meet here today to plan something real important. And what happens? The women stay in bed. It's hard to get out of the crib. We gotta bend over backwards for our husbands, wash the baby, feed the baby, change the baby, and put the baby to bed. I got bigger things on my mind. Is that why you called this meeting? How big a thing is this? Oh, it's big. And thick? It's humongous, big enough for all of us. I'm not sure I want to share that. Now see, if that's what was up, they would have been here in droves. Us women will be, no, can be, the hope and the salvation of the hood. Us. <laughs> bye bye hood. I invited the wives and the girlfriends of all the bangers from every set in the city to meet here today. Are you crazy? If they all show up, we can stop the gang banging and the dope dealing and save the hood. You are crazy. Gang banging is in the brother's blood. It's all they know. And all us sisters is good for is sitting in front of a mirror or a TV, digging on soap operas and Oprah Winfrey, all primped out and pretty in our deaf little negligees and our see-through gowns. Exactly. We've got the weapons to use, the perfume, the makeup, the new hairdos, and the see-through negligees. <laughs> what? 
if we use these things, the brothers will never want to gangbang again. Then I'll take my best dress to the cleaners. No more drive-by killings. No slip into one of those negligee. No more going to the joint. Buy me some of those African slippers. No more dope dealing death. <sighs> Why aren't those other women here yet? They should have flew in on the wind to hear this. Well, you know what they're like. Real sisters never do today what they can put off till tomorrow. It's Penelope from Compton. Her family's big out there. Yeah, well, she's a little small back here. Penelope. Are we late, Lisa Trotter? Why are your jaw so tight? Because I'm pissed off. And why are you so late when there's important things going down? Couldn't find my bra in the dark. And what's so important anyway? And here comes Stella. Welcome, Stella. Stella. Fine thing, you. Ooh, fine tits. <laughs> Keep your hands off me. What you think I am, some kind of street walking crackhead hoe? <laughs> <laughs> Compliment. <laughs> Compliment. And uh, who is this fine sister here? Conchita. Her family's Mexican. Oh, the land of fertile beaches. <laughs> Look like somebody been playing mangoes. No, see, mi hombre Pancho es el jefe de los reyes latinos. Speaky English. As good as you, bitch. I was born in LA, honey, so chill. Didn't mean anything by a chica. When the bills are due, I wish I was in Mexico, where everything's cheaper. Yo <laughs> también. Me too. I know. Welcome, ladies. Come on in. Long Beach in the house. What's up, Lisa? What's up? Who called us mean? I did. Then speak your mind. All right. I got a question for y'all. Do you all want your husbands and your lovers at home with you and your children or in the joint or dead? Well, my husband's been in Corcoran. Doing hard time for the last two years. <laughs> My husband's no sooner out of Corcoran than he's right back in Chino. So who's left? Old men, little boys, and our gay brothers. But what if I've come up with a plan to end gang banging? Will y'all be in my corner? <laughs> You can count on me. If it's money you need, I'll pawn the Louboutins off my feet, and then we can all go out and get high, OK? Girl, <laughs> yeah, I'm with you all the way, Lisa, even if they have to split me up the middle and fry me like a catfish. All right, sister. The only hope we have of forcing our husband and men to negotiate peace is to resort to total abstinence. From what? See the kick. Will y'all do it? Sure we will, even if it kills us. All right. We have to resort to total abstinence from sex. There's no way I would do it. So I'm with the war. 
Me neither. On with the gang banging. On, On with, with the, the war. war. On, On with the war. On with the war. the war. Is that all you have to say, my little catfish? A minute ago, you were talking about being split up the metal. No. You have to come up with something else, Lisa. Now, you know I'd walk through the fire with you if you told me to. But you asking me to give up that thing? Ain't nothing like it. What about you two? <laughs> I mean, I, I'd be willing to come through the fire with you. Any fire around? <laughs> you understand, Fuego? Come on, ladies. Anybody? No, 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 Nobody? No, no. Whores. What? All of you. Marcella, give them all a drink on me. Look, it ain't easy for us girls to sleep without sex. But I'm with you. You guys, I'm with her. Right on. Stone sister, right on. Well, suppose we did. As far as possible, abstain from what you said. Could something like that really bring peace any sooner? Hell yeah. All we'd have to do is just lay up with the right amount of makeup on and a little see-through slipper or, or nothing at all. You just slink on by them all perfumed and powdered and wham, up they go, lusting for a quick lay. But we don't go near them. Total abstinence. I wouldn't be surprised if the war ended in a week. So what if they grab us? What if they drag us into the bedroom? Yeah. Ella no sabe nada acerca de machismo. Los hombres latinos. She's right. I mean, what if they do grab us and drag us to the bedroom? What if they beat us? Yeah, just take some. All right. All right. All right. You can give in, but don't enjoy it. You be, be, be nasty about it. It's no fun for men if it's no fun for us. It's not real copulation without cooperation. Lisa, they'll just go and buy some. <sighs> Y'all still don't get it. No sex, no babies. <laughs> no mas niños. No babies. No more babies until the war is over. I get it. How else are they gonna prove their manhood? No legit gigs out there for us poor folk, black, white, or Latino. Right, I mean, we watch them all the time tear down the hood and we do nothing about it. Mm -hmm. It's not just the men, it's us too. Down poison to the people. Mm-hmm. Go otra vez, directamente a la cárcel. Going straight to jail. They could use that dope money and they could go legit. Mm -hmm. Like the Italian mafia did. There yeah. You go. Mm -hmm. Supermarkets, mm -hmm. affordable housing, health clinics, and a charter school. That's what I'm talking about. Sisters, we are all guilty. And we've got to save all of us. Men, women, children. Right, right. right. The schools right. don't educate us poor folks. The military don't want us. Unless there's a war and they can use us for cannon fodder. The only way our men have to prove their manhood is to gang bang and make babies. Lisa, you already are a mother. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I am a mother. A mother. At 14, a grandmother at 30, and I got a great grandchild on the way. And I am sick 
and tired of seeing the boys in my family, our family, dead or in jail before they have a chance to be men. And the women, widows, before they go gray. No more babies until there's peace in the hood. No, no more babies until there's peace in the hood. All right. Because this is not about copulation. It's about procreation. No more babies till there's peace in the nation. We don't care if the men crawl. We don't care if the men dead. Mm -hmm. Until there's peace in the hood. No, no more lead! No more gang banging and no more gold. Right. No more lead until there's hope. No more ifs, no more maybes until there's peace in the hood. No, no more, more babies. babies! And we're gonna deliver this message. And we're gonna make it stick. Until there's peace in the hood. No more dead! Stand up for life. 